two nights of high limit racing to kick off the 2024 season. And when you talk about high limit, you talk about kicking things off, lots of storylines going into the inaugural national tour season for high limit. Two of the storylines I think are really worth talking about. The guys that have signed up, uh, we have 17 full-time high rollers committed to the season this uh, to kick off the year. Rico Abreu and Brent Marks, two of the guys that I'm really interested in, two of the guys that I'm really kind of you know stoked to see chase championship points full-time. Rico Abreu has not had perfect attendance with a touring championship since 2016 in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. And Brett Marks, yes, he did three full seasons with the World of Outlaws, but that came to a close in 2019. And since then, he's done what he calls a true outlaw schedule. Talked to both those guys back in the pit area, said, You've had a lot of success. You've had a lot of fun. You've both made a lot of money not following a championship schedule. Why commit to high limit in 2024? Rico Abreu, he talked about what Brad and Kyle are doing for the sport excites him. He mentioned specifically what Flo is putting in to sprint car racing excites him. His relationship with all three of those folks, that gets him uh, really optimistic about chasing a championship and committing full time to high limit. Brett Marks, on the other hand, he talked about maturing and growing a lot since 2019, the last time he chased a championship full time and things in his life just making sense and liking the 59 race schedule that High Limit Racing has put together, where his team, Murray Marks Motorsports is. He talked about personal growth, things that have changed in his life since 2019, getting him ready to go racing. One thing both of them said, because they're committing to a championship schedule and they don't have that luxury, they don't have that ability to say, well, we're chasing points, we gotta be at another track four days down the road, uh, we tore up a bunch of stuff, we gotta keep going and fix it on the road. Because they've been true outlaws, those guys have been able to say, hey, let's take the weekend off. We tore up a lot of stuff, we can, uh, we can go back to the shop, put it all back together and get ready to keep going with whatever races we want to. Both Rico and Brent talked about right now, the name of the game for both those teams is going to be making sure they have a trailer full of exactly what they need to go racing, to chase a championship and be successful in 2024 with high limit racing. Those are two storylines I'm keeping my eye on. Chase, it's gonna be a phenomenal season. We've got the Battle at the Bay here at East Bay Raceway Park coming up next. We're gonna take a short break here on Flow Rakes, but when we come back, cars are on track here at East Bay Raceway. And welcome back to East Bay Raceway Park for race number one of 2024 for the High Limit Sprint Car Series. We're here at the East Bay Raceway Park, the Battle at the Bay. 
There's a good look at one of our full-time high rollers, the 26 of Zeb Wise. But let's take a look at tonight's weather forecast because that's been a big, uh, the talk of the town, I should say, uh, here throughout the day. A little bit of rain potentially later on this evening as you take a look at 76 degrees here right now. It's a beautiful day. Unfortunately, a little bit windy at 20 mile per hour winds and a little bit of hazy skies here. And then later on, around 9 p.m. or so, there are supposed to be some scattered showers that we're trying to avoid. So we are uh, in that hurry up mode here this evening, trying to go as quick as we can so we can get it this show uh, in the books. So now another thing we wanna talk about is last year's point standings. Now I know it was just an 11 race campaign last year, but some of the drivers that will be campaigning in this full-time season were a part of that points battle last season. And we'll take a look at the midweek series points last year, obviously won by Kyle Larson, just barely over Rico Abreu, who was seven behind, and quite the gap back to Corey Eliason, who was uh, in that Crouch Motorsports 11. Now he's in the Ridge and Sun Racing number eight. He was third in points. Justin Peck, he's back in the Boot Motorsports 13. He was fourth. Chase Randall was fifth in points, followed by Ryan Timms, who is here tonight. Justin Sanders, Anthony Macri, he's here tonight. Dusty Zomer and Brent Marks rounded out the top 10 in points last year with the shortened season uh, with the High Limit Sprint Car Series last season. Now, we know this is a big race. This is a big deal to be here tonight at East Bay Raceway Park. How big of a deal is it, however? We'll look back at the High Roller podcast by that is created by the two founders of this series, Kyle Larson and Brad Sweet. This is the High Roller podcast available on flowracing.com. And Brad and Kyle kind of previewed what we'll see here tonight at East Bay. February 12th, 13th, season starts there, Battle at the Bay. It is closing down. This is, I think, going to be the last 410 sprint car race at East Bay. Um, what makes this the place that you guys wanted to start the year off at? It's obviously an awesome racetrack, but, um, you know, why did it work, Brad, to, to kind of kick the year off here? Yeah, I mean, I think it makes sense just, you know, there's a lot of racing going on in Florida in February. There's not a really, really a lot of other places in the country that you can race, but, uh, you know, I think East Bay has a lot of history. Um, you know, it's in a great market, and leading into the Daytona 500, there's a lot of race fans down there. Um, so it's just a good chance for us to kind of, you know, showcase what High Limit's about, um, get our drivers, you know, all together, and, and hopefully put on two good nights of racing. Um, but I've I've only raced at East Bay a couple times, and uh, both times it was really good racing. Uh, it's it's tricky. It's sandy, kind of flat. Um, you know, the facility's obviously not the most updated you know nicest but the track races really really well and um just it'll just be exciting to get down to some some warm florida florida weather and obviously hope the fans come out and and support it obviously uh you know the last ever 410 wing sprint car race there high limits and then uh you know just just be really cool to to kind of see who's going to uh you know win our inaugural race and that is monday and tuesday of the daytona 500 week so uh if you're planning your travels uh come in a few days early and, and go check out sprint cars at east bay kyle uh what do you think about that place you like east bay yeah i think I'll, i only raced there once in two i don't know all-star race i think in 2020 maybe 19 um and uh it was pretty fast the night that we were there um it uh it started to get a little slicker by the time you know the last 10 laps or so of the feature but uh yeah as brad said i remember being pretty sandy and flat um, kind of reminded me of, like Avalon in Australia, like just kind of round and just flat and lots of you know, wheel spin, um, all that. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that the track is ice slick to the fence, like I, we've seen it, you know, or at least I, I think it was that way last year, the year before for the All-Star races. Like it was, I remember it being just like dead slick and guys were either just like putting around the bottom or just you know wide opening around the fence so um you know and then you'll probably see brad like making some weird line through the middle work so is um, paul gonna is paul gonna have your 57 ready to go by then or yeah it's been <laughs> it's been ready i think i mean it's just been him this whole winter because trevor trevor has been in australia with Rico uh, the whole time so I, he finally saw, got his trevor. got back yeah he finally got trevor back so i think they leave i don't know they leave I don't know sometime early next week or so maybe but um yeah i'm ready i'm ready to, to get back in the 57 i just love sprint racing so um 
Is that, is, that the, is that the only races? Are you racing there? You're, so you're racing both nights at East Bay and then... East Bay, Golden Isle. I think Wikipedia said I think I'm at, I'm at like the first seven. So, you know, Ooh. hopefully I, oh, hopefully I got a big point, you know, <laughs> buddy. And, uh, something I can brag to Brad about for a little bit. Like, oh, I was beating you points until I, until I had to drop off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like it. We'll do, yeah, maybe we can do a little friendly wager or something there for those first seven. So. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, yeah. So that'll be cool. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to get going. I got a ton of racing planned on my schedule this year, so um, I'm sure Caitlin will love me for that and uh, <laughs> and uh, all that. But uh, I know Paul's happy. Uh, I added I added a few more late model races to my schedule too, so I'm sure Kevin's happy about that. And uh, you know, hopefully get the midget back out again in the off season. I want to go to Australia, so I got a this, big. I got a this big guy's year, a he's a, ju- he's a junkie when it comes to racing. Yeah, this guy's a, he is a junkie. Yeah. <laughs> Never met nobody yeah, like dude. Kyle Larson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm excited. No, I think it'll be fun. East Bay will be it'll be cool to to get down there and see who can uh, can have some bragging rights leaving that place. Some interesting observations and thoughts there from the two founders of the High Limit Racing Series. That's Kyle Larson and Brad Sweet on their High Limit Room podcast. Once again, that is available on Flow Racing as well as Flow Racing's YouTube page as well. So if you want to catch future episodes, make sure to uh, head over there and and figure out how to subscribe to those things. So uh, we'll be back here in just a few moments here as we are very, very close to Dirt Draft Hot Laps. We'll be coming up here in just a few moments. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back from East Bay Raceway Park.
This broadcast is brought to you by Dirt Draft. Capital Custom Trailers and Coaches. As well as Driven to Save Lives. And welcome back here to East Bay Raceway Park, the Battle at the Bay here in Tampa, Florida. 56 sprint cars on hand, ready to get going here. Hot laps coming up in just a few moments time. Hot laps brought to you by the guys at Dirt Draft. So, 56 cars back in the pit area. A pit area not only full of cars, but full of race fans. I have heard that uh, the the reserve seating is completely sold out here at East Bay for this first race of the season with the High Limit Sprint Car Series. And we come back here tomorrow night to do it once again. And then next week we head off to Golden Isles in Georgia. And if you're looking for tickets for that, we recommend going to highlimitracing.com to get your tickets. So, some of the drivers out there in out of those 56 we were talking about, we talked about our 17 full-time high rollers. We'll be pointing them out as the night goes on. But some other big names that have shown up here tonight. How about the Steel City Outlaw, Tim Schaefer? He is in the house in the DNR Racing number 49X car. We've also got uh, Austin McCarl, the most recent Knoxville Raceway track champion, is in the house in his car number 88. We've got Devin Borden. He was the Port Royal Speedway track champion in 2023 tonight, driving the Brian Grove Racing at number 45 car. Other drivers to consider keeping an eye on here tonight, including the 48 of Danny Dietrich out of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. He's going to be a fun driver to watch. I'm sure we'll be seeing him on quite a few occasions throughout the 2024 season with the High Limit Sprint Car Series. Anthony Macri is here as well tonight. Well, drivers are making their way onto the racetrack right now for the first hot lap session of the night for Dirt Draft Hot Laps. And we'll introduce you to some of the drivers that will be out there on the speedway for this first session. First driver you see out there right now, one of our high rollers at 11 in Indiana. That's the True Timber Camo, Nice Crete and Landis Block, JRC Transportation, High Performance Lubricants, number five. That's 25-year-old Spencer Baston. Spencer Baston in car number five. Also on the speedway, that's the 24D at a Northport floor, the RV Locks and More, Global Link, CPG, Schaefer's Oil, number 24D of Danny Sams the third. Danny Sams the third in car number 24D. Another driver making his way to the staging lane in just his, I believe his fifth ever 410 sprint car start is right here tonight at East Bay. Driver of car number 64 out of Felton, Minnesota. That's the TDS Trucking Landmark Company Slingshot Ropes STP number 64 of Andy Paik. Andy Paik in car number 64. Also, this guy's got some experience around the East Bay Raceway Park. Some of the fans might know him out of Sunbury, Pennsylvania. That's the Spoon Fred Race Engines, Witherspoon Truck and Auto, Mac Mach 1 Chassis, CSI Shocks, Simpson Race Products, number 43M. That's Mark Smith. Mark Smith in car number 43M. Another one of our high rollers rolling into the staging lane there out of Kokomo, Indiana. That's the Chalk Sticks Torsion Bars, Townline Variety, Indy Race Parts, High Performance Lubricants, number 9P of Parker Price Miller. Parker Price Miller in car number 9P. Parker Price Miller with some pretty good experience here at East Bay. Was fourth with the All-Stars here in 2022. Also fourth during the King of 360s week here last season. That's coming up here very quickly this week uh, here at East Bay Raceway Park. The King of 360s. You can watch that right here on Flow Racing. 
Several of the drivers you're seeing here tonight will definitely be taking part in that event, and that's a very long-standing event. Mark Smith, a seven-time winner during the King of 360s week. He is out here in this hot lap session. Another driver making his way towards the staging lane right now. Trying to decide which one of the 16 cars that is. I believe that is the 16T out of Terre Haute, Indiana, the Honest Abe Roofing Metal Supply Depot, number 16T of Kevin Newton. Kevin Newton in the 16T. Also rolling on to the racetrack now at Lee Sport, Pennsylvania. That's the specialty rigging. Red Robin, Chop Designs, Ruby Ridge Farms, number 10X of Reese Nowatarski. Reese Nowatarski in car number 10X. Final driver rolling onto the speedway for this session out of Stewartstown, Pennsylvania. That's the Mid-Atlantic Mobility People's Lifting Specialist at Decker Welding SK Auto, number 77X of Stephen Kaisamore. Stephen Kaisamore in car number 77K. Interesting day for Kaisamore as he had to go to his the local Midas here in Tampa and had to get uh, the mufflers welded on today or else he was not going to be able to partake in tonight's festivities. So I had to go to the Midas and get the welding done on the mufflers there for uh, Stephen Kaisemore. So definitely been an interesting day for driver of 77K. And as you can see, engines are now coming to life for the first hot lap session of the season with the High Limit Racing Series. The drivers will get a couple laps on the clock. We're going to, once again, I want to remind the people that maybe just tuning in on flow, just sitting down in the grandstands, the plan here is to hot lap Group A drivers and then go straight into qualifying for the Group A drivers as well with the large car count and with the uh, impending weather later on tonight. We're trying to do things as quickly as we possibly can to make sure that we get this first show in. for every High Limit Racing event in 2024. The Dirt Draft app allows you to play against hundreds of dirt racing fans across the country. Simply select five drivers each night while staying under a $100,000 salary cap and accumulate points in the process. Use those points in the speed shop to buy all kinds of things. Download the Dirt Draft app or visit dirtdraft.com for more information. Well, here we go. Drivers getting the signal over their one-way race communications device that we are about to go green on the first hot lap session of the season with the High Limit Racing Series. And here it goes. Green flag is out for hot lap session number one. Drivers already making their way across the start finish line. Fastest so far is the 43M of Mark Smith. Mark Smith at a 15.530. He's followed by Danny Smith Sam today. Now he gets passed by Spencer Basin. Now Parker Price Miller jumps up to the top. Mark Smith now back to the top. Track still looks to be a little bit greasy right now, but that'll get cleaned up here relatively quick, I would think. There is Spencer Basin making his. East Bay Raceway debut here tonight. So the caution flag comes out and drivers are being instructed over the one-way communications device to roll in the speedway. We see this a lot in sprint car racing where the drivers will try and roll in the racing line to kind of clean up that grease a little bit and, and find some more grip out there. And most of the time that leads to some faster lap time. So far, the fastest is that guy right there 
Danny Sams the third. He is quickest at a 15.071. Danny Sams just a few nights ago made the feature with the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. Was 19th at Volusia Speedway Park last year. Danny Sams with three 410 wins, two with the Fast Series located in Ohio. Good look at some of our camera operators here on Flow Racing. Good look at the sunset behind them as well. See if I can wave. Can you see me up here? I'm waving through the window. I don't think you can really see me very well. But, yeah, I'm, I'm underneath that guy on the right there. So if you were just wondering, you're probably not. But if you were wondering, I am right there. Uh, also fast in this group so far, Mark Smith, 15286. Spencer Baston, 15328. Parker Price Miller, 15336. And Reese Noah Tarski at a 16137. Noah Tarski, one of the up and comers in 410s. This is just his sixth career 410 sprint car race here tonight. Green flag comes back out. White flag being displayed from the flag stand. One to go here in hot lap session number one. Checker comes out and it looks it is it's going to be the the uh, no it's not Spencer Baston's actually going to be the fastest driver overall in hot lap session number one at a 14 seven two three so in his East Bay Raceway Park debut Spencer Baston fastest in hot lap session number one 14 seven two three Danny Sam's the third I thought was going to be quickest there but Baston got him on the last lap at a 14 seven six four for Danny Sam's then Parker Price Miller in third Mark Smith in fourth and Reese Noah Tarski in the fifth spot, followed by Andy Paik and Steven Kaisemore in the 77K. Drivers will also stage their cars in the infield here tonight and tomorrow to try and speed up the program. Makes it a little bit easier for them to get fired off and, and get going for qualifying when they're down there in the infield. And that's going to change at every racetrack we go to. Never the same any two places that we will go to throughout the year. So drivers pulling into their pit stall down there. They've got their crew. They've got their buggies down there and whatnot to make, uh, make some adjustments on their cars before they go out for their qualifying session. Hot lap session number two now making its way trackside, led out by one of our high rollers out of Minden, Nevada. That's the Smith Titanium Factory Kane, Maximum Race Oil, Mesilla Valley Transportation, Hall of Vodka, number 88. That's Tanner Thorson. Tanner Thorson in car number 88. And behind him, out of Sussex, New Jersey, that's the Dave Frantic Auto Sales, Rapid Tire, Escape Power Sports Plus, Atlantic Battery System, Lanes Yamaha, number 28F. That's No Panic, Davey Frantic. Davey Frantic in car number 28F. Also on the speedway to Grass Valley, California, the Casey Kane Raceway with Mike Curve, Napa Auto Parts, Brumos Collection, Maxima Race Souls, number 49. That's the five-time World of Outlaws champion, the big cat, Brad Sweet. Brad Sweet in car number 49. And from Tuttle, Oklahoma, the Select Coatings, Outlaw Wings, Kaiser Wheels, Rod and Supply, number 2C, that's Wayne Johnson. Wayne Johnson in car number 2C. From Hanover, Pennsylvania, the SCC Trucking, PhilPools.com. Polk Brothers Racing, Dynatech Controls, number 17. That's Dylan Norris. Dylan Norris back in the family owned, number 17. And from Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, the Rudzik Excavating Precision Overhead Garage Door, Centerline Boring, Smith Titanium, Y-Town Powder Coating, number 49X. That's the Steel City Outlaw, Tim Schaefer. Tim Schaefer in the 49X. And from Clovis, California, the Sander Engineering Four Seas Construction, Autry Plumbing, Sincal, driven to save lives, number 14, that's Corey Day. Corey Day in car number 14. Final driver in this session getting pushed off now at Knoxville, Iowa, the quality traffic control, Stivers Ford Lincoln, Goodno Promotion, Schilling Excavating, number 22, that's Riley Goodno. Riley Goodno in car number 22. There is Davey Franick, the driver of car number 28F, was 11th with the All-Stars here last season at East Bay Raceway Park, was third during the King of 360s week as well last season. Already a winner in 2024 is Davey Franick, got the win at the Henry County Speedway with the USCS Sprint Cars, that's a 360 division, but tonight Franick with the 410 under the hood. 
There is Corey Day, the 18-year-old out of Clovis, California. Driver that many, many people are looking forward to watching here full time with the High Limit Sprint Car Series in 2024. His first ever time here to the East Bay Raceway Park. We'll see how quickly he takes to things. There's Tanner Thorson. Ninth place last year with the All-Stars. Actually, that was back in 2022. Did that twice as we go green. Hot lap session number two. Checkered flag is displayed. I don't know if many people had this guy to be at the top of the speed charts. How about it? Tanner Thorson at a 14.083. The driver, formerly from Minden, Nevada, now living in Oklahoma. He is quick as so far in dirt draft hot laps. 14.083 for car number 88. Brad Sweet is second, 14.108, followed by Davey Frantic, 14.222. Then Tim Schaefer, 14-362, and Wayne Johnson at a 14-630. Corey Day is sixth, Dylan Norris is seventh, Spencer Baston, Danny Sams, and Riley Goodno rounding out the top 10. Great lap though for Tanner Thorson, 14-083. Next group of drivers now rolling onto the speedway, led out by the driver out of Monrovia, Indiana, the Avanti Windows and Doors, Big Spring Car Wash, Water Treatment by Design, Coastal Race Parts. Number 13, that's Justin Peck. Justin Peck in car number 13. And from Canton, Illinois, the NOS Energy Drink, Maxim Trucking, Logan Contractor Supply, Zip-Ons, TK Concrete, number 55, that's the bear, Chris Windham. And from Bellevue, Ohio, the Indy Race Parts, Moon and Dagger Tattoo, EEG Golf Carts, Amelie Motor Oil, Ohio, Ohio Logistics, number 2MD, that's Cap Henry. Cap Henry in the 2MD. In the middle of that four wide right there, out of Grand Forks, North Dakota, the Native Nations Cannabis, Royal River Casino, Knife River, Home of Economy, Simplot, number 11M, that's Brendan Mullen. Brendan Mullen in the 11M. From Altoona, Iowa, the Country Builders Construction, Ochico West, Muddy Outdoors, Tucker Trucking, Bosma Family Farms, number 88A, that's Austin McCarl. Austin McCarl in car number 88A. And from Windsor, Colorado, the BG Automotive, Simpson, Al Parker Engine, Schaefer's Oil, number 16G, that's Austin Gossel. Austin Gossel in the 16G. Drivers now getting under power. We are missing somebody in this session, trying to figure out who is not on the speedway. I believe it is the 87, potentially, of Aaron Reitzel. We don't see him out on the speedway quite yet. We'll wait and see if he comes out in the next group. There's Brendan Mullen right there on the 11M, all the way from Grand Forks, North Dakota. Was 18th here last year with the All-Stars. Two NOSA wins last year at the River City Speedway in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Brendan Mullen, the former NOSA Sprint Car Series champion, out there in 11M. Justin Peck in car number 13, the 25-year-old driver, was second here in 2023 with the All-Stars both nights. 
He has six top tens here at East Bay Raceway Park with the All-Star Circuit of Champions. Cap Henry, what a great year it was in 2023 for him. 11 wins. He was also the Fremont, Attica, and the AFCS champion. All three of those he was the champion of last year. That was in a different car, but he was fast in this machine last year as well. The Mark Daly Racing 2MD as we go to the green flag in hot lap session number three. Yellow lights come on. Fastest now in hot laps is the number 13 of Justin Peck at a 13-643. He's followed now by the 55 of Chris Windham at a 13-717. Tanner Thorson is third. Brad Sweet is fourth. And Cap Henry now jumps into the top five. Now not seeing the checkered flag, just the yellow right now. So we'll wait and see if these drivers will pack the racetrack in a little bit here and go back to the green flag. But as of now, it is Justin Peck at the 13, 643, the fastest. Michael Sanford out of Sarasota, Florida. If you are in the grandstands and are within earshot of this message, you are the winner of tonight's Durst Dice Roll. So you will be rolling the dice tonight before the feature event to find out uh, who you will be cheering on later on for that feature for a little bit of extra money. So Michael Sanford out of Sarasota, Florida, Tonight, we're going to need you down by the flag stand before the feature begins to roll the Durst dice. Also, race fans, we have a car parked in a handicapped position. At, it's a white Ford van, and the license plate is HLHP42. Needs to be moved or it will be towed. White Ford van, license plate HLHP42 as we go back to green here in hot lap session number three. Checkered flag is out. Justin Peck still the fastest at the 13 405. Chris Windham still second. Austin McCarl jumps up to the third spot. Cap Henry fourth and Tanner Thorson in fifth. Also another message for the race fans here at the racetrack. A silver Chevy 2500 license plate BD01067 Michigan tags. You have left your lights on. Once again, a silver Chevy 2500 license plate BD01067. 1067 Michigan Tags left the lights on. Tony Laporta, what's going on down there, my friend? Yeah, Chase, uh, Austin McCarl just coming in here and hitting the work area as they're going to work quickly as the uh, first flight is going to hot lap and then qualify. You talked about that already, I know. Uh, but Austin McCarl going third quick overall after three groups of hot laps. Uh, his dad, Terry, here is uh, lending a very useful hand to help get this car set up and get Austin where he needs to be. Uh, I talked to Terry just before we went out on track during the driver's meeting. And Terry dropped a lot of knowledge on me here about uh, East Bay Raceway Park. And I said, gee, you sure seem to know a lot about this place for a guy from Iowa. And he said, well, I've raced here a few times. Uh, the line on Terry McCarl, 15 victories at East Bay Raceway Park. 
after 126 starts, and those go from 1994 to just last season in 2023, 15 victories, second 14 times, but a, an astounding 93 top 10 finishes. That's the father of the driver, the number 88, Austin McCarl behind the wheel. Terry, I think you can see him right there talking to his driver uh, underneath the wing. So uh, the McCarls, they got a lot of knowledge about this place, Chase. They certainly do. Terry McCarl, one of the all-time feature winners here at East Bay. And I feel like whenever there's a race here, he will be behind the wheel. He doesn't have a 410. His car is back in the pit area, but he will be running with the 360s later on this week. And so Terry McCarl, he does not miss a big-time sprint car race very often here at East Bay, especially here in the month of February. So the first group of drivers uh, in that first hot lap session are back onto the racetrack. The track has gained significant time since the last time they were out there, so we'll give them a couple laps at speed here to get things figured out as the racetrack has changed a lot before the last time they were out there. Then we'll come back. We'll have one more group of hot laps for Flight A and then come right back with qualifying for the first couple drivers here in Flight A as well as the green flag. Already the white flag coming out. Checkered flag is out, and we have a new name at the top of the speed charts here in Hot Laps. It is the law firm, Parker Price Miller, 13309. He is fastest overall in Hot Laps now. Justin Peck, 13405. Then Spencer based at 13464. Danny Sams looks sporty so far tonight. He's fourth quickest, 13522. And Chris Windham at a 13565. We will do the same thing once again with the drivers who were in hot lap session number two. They will come back out and run a couple of laps at speed here. Uh, it was a little bit of an unfair advantage here for those drivers, uh, along with the drivers that were just out there as well. I mean, the track was super greasy when they were out there, and now it's picked up a ton of speed, almost uh, almost a couple or what a second and a half for a, a couple of these guys. So uh, we'll let fire these guys back off and and get things underway for another hot lap session here as you take a look at some of the drivers right there. Corey Day, as we mentioned earlier, the 18-year-old driver uh, in his first full-time year on the big stage, a national tour. Yeah, he is going to be extremely fun to watch. There's Brad Sweet pulling away, but yeah, Corey Day, uh, the 14, was super good last year. The defending King of the West Sprint Car Series champion had 13 wins last season in 410 competition, including one against the World of Outlaws during the Gold Cup Race of Champions at the Silver Dollar Speedway in Chico, California. And there is Brad Sweet, a winner just a few nights ago with the Outlaws at Volusia Speedway Park. Had a couple of uh, top five finishes there over the course of the Dirt Car Nationals over there. And Brad Sweet right now sits in the 11th position in hot laps. There's the Steel City Outlaw, Tim Schaefer in 49X. Two career all-star wins, albeit those coming back in 2002. Uh, Tim Schaefer's been coming to the East Bay Raceway Park for a very long time. He's also a winner with the King of 360 series here in 2021. So 410, 360, Schaefer has done it all here at East Bay as we go back to the green flag. Let's we'll see if Tanner Thorson has that speed from earlier still in that car number 88. Well, 
Well, well, well. How about that? Corey Day picking up very quickly the East Bay Raceway Park. He is fastest overall in hot laps now at a 12.993. He is the only driver in the 12-second bracket as we speak. Brad Sweet was second in that group. Third was Tim Schaefer, Davey Franick fourth, and Tanner Thorson in fifth. So I'll tell you what, Davey Franick and Danny Sams, both of them have impressed me so far here tonight. We'll see if they can keep that speed up when it comes to qualifying presented by Capital Custom Trailers here in just a few moments. we got one more group to hot lap. These drivers have not quite been on the speedway yet. So let's introduce you who they will be first rolling onto the speedway. In car number 23, out of Cherryville, North Carolina, the mid-Nebraska land developers, m and Manufacturing, Industrial Hard Carbon, Moss Racing, and just number 23, that's Lance Moss. Lance Moss in car number 23. And from Dunville, Ontario, Canada, the Nitro 54, Creative Edge, 87 speed, Howie Bins Junk Removal, Ackland Insurance number 15, that's Ryan Turner. Ryan Turner in car number 15. And from Terre Haute, Indiana, that's the 16T of Kevin Newton, the Honest Abe Roofing Metal Supply Depot car. And from Hanover, Pennsylvania, the Pell's Tire Service, RF Knox Company, the Auto Barn, Weinbrenner Motor Service, Lawrence's Body Shop number 1A, that's Jacob Allen. Jacob Allen in car number 1A. To his right in car number 45 tonight, out of Raymond, Washington, the Brian Grove Racing, Starrett Service, Canton Erector's Premier Pallet number 45, that's Devin Borden. Devin Borden in car number 45. And from Elk Grove, California, the JVI Group, Finley Farms, Falcons Brothers Trucking, Flow Racing, HendrickCars.com, number 57, that's Young Money, Kyle Larson. Final driver in this session, out of Clute, Texas, the Falcons Brothers Trucking, STC, b &L Holdings, American Table, Commercial Edge, number 87, that's Aaron Reitzel. Aaron Reitzel in car number 87. This will be the final group of hot laps before we get into qualifying for Flight A, Capital Custom Trailers qualifying, that is. Aaron Reitzel, so very good here at the East Bay Raceway Park, has won plenty of races. He got a World of Outlaws win here in 2021 in very exciting fashion, four above the cushion on that night. He was an all-star winner here in 2020. And in 2023, Aaron Reitzel had 15 wins including eight in the 410, seven in the 360. A lot of those coming in Knoxville, but Aaron Reitzel has won plenty of races outside of Knoxville last year as well. There's Kyle Larson. He's also a former winner here at East Bay, all-star winner here in 2020, and he's the defending high limit champion. The 11 race series in 2023, he won the championship by just seven points over Rico Abreu. Devin Borden making a cameo appearance in the 45 for Brian Grove. Last year, Devin Borden, a career season, was the champion at the Port Royal Speedway with seven wins to his credit. Those wins coming between Port, Baps, and Sealands Grove as we go green on this final hot lap session for Flight A. Checkered flag comes out. Corey Day still fastest overall, but very, very close behind him. The number one A of Jacob Allen, 13 0 6 0. He's second quickest. Brad Sweet in third. Tim Schaefer in fourth. And Davey Franick rounding out the top five in hot laps, followed by Kyle Larson, Tanner Thorson, Parker Price Miller, Dylan Norris, and Aaron Reitzel. Next up will be qualifying, presented by Capital Custom Trailers. We'll do two cars at a time. 
for qualifying here tonight. So I get two cars at a time here for Capital Renegade qualifying. Capital Renegade Custom Trailers and Coaches is the number one Renegade Toter Home dealer and the number one Intech trailer dealer. No one sells more Toter Homes or Intech trailers than Capital Renegade Custom Trailers and Coaches. If you are in the market for a Toter Home or a trailer, trust the people that are there in the pits with you and that support the sport. Check out their complete lineup at www.capitalrenegade.com. So thank you to Capital Renegade for their support of the High Limit Sprint Car Series. And man, that's a little bit disappointing. We were here uh, yesterday for a very long time, probably got here about 10 a.m. yesterday. And uh, we were here till about 5.30, putting up the banners around the racetrack and turn three, uh, that turn three banner is absolutely destroyed. Uh, a lot of hard work, sweat, and, and a very long shower afterwards uh, were taken after putting all those banners up and, and turn three is already smoked. So here we go, we're ready to go qualifying here at East Bay, night number one of the season with the Highland Sprint Car Series. First driver on the speedway is Spencer based in 11 in Indiana, the True Timber Camo. Nice green land is blocked, JRC Transportation, high performance lubricants number five and the number 43M of Mark Smith out of Sunbury, Pennsylvania, the spoon fed race engine, litter spoon truck and auto, Mach 1 chassis, CSI shocks, Number 43M, Spencer Basin on lap one is at 12.948, 12.948 for Basin on lap one. Mark Smith at a 13.092. Lap two for Basin is going to be faster at a 12.867, 12.867. Mark Smith on lap number two is a little bit slower at a 13.400. Basin is your quickest so far of the first two drivers at a 12.867 here in Capital Custom Trailers qualifying. Next on to the Speedway at Kokomo, Indiana, the Chalk Sticks Torsion Bars, Townline Variety, Indy Race Parts, High Performance Lubricants, number 9P of Parker Price Miller. And also on the track at the Northport, Florida, the RV Locks and more, Global Link, CPG Schaefer's Oil, number 24D of Danny Sams III. Lap one for Parker Price Miller is going to be second quick at 1, 2, 9, 4, 1, 12, 9, 41 for Parker Price Miller. Lap one for Danny Sams, fourth quick at a 13, 307, 1, 3, 307. Second time by for Parker Price Miller is going to be quick time 12, 7, 3, 9, 1, 2, 7, 3, 9. Danny Sands better on lap two at a 13, 2, 7, 8. Little bit of a issue here with the push trucks as we were trying to get cars crossed in the infield and we we're gonna have to take a moment here to get things sorted out before our next two cars come up to speed for qualifying. The next two cars will be uh, the number 10X driven by Reese Nowatarski. He's out of Leesport, Pennsylvania, the specialty rigging, Red Robin, Chop Designs, Ruby Ridge Farms, number 10X. And joining him is the 77X out of Stewartstown, Pennsylvania, the Mid-Atlantic Mobility People's Lifting Specialist, Decker Welding, SK Auto, number 77X of Stephen Kaisamore. Stephen Kaisamore in the 77K. So drivers will get up to speed there right at the midpoint of the back straightaway. Don't want to give them an unfair advantage compared to their competitors here as they will come to the green flag this time by. Noah Tarski making his sixth career 410 sprint car appearance was eighth last year at BAPS in his limited appearances in the 410. And Steven Kaisamore eighth at Big Diamond last year in 2023, his first career 410 top 10 finish in 2023. Lap one for Noah Tarski is a 13.503, 13.503. Kaisemore at a 14.556. They are fifth and sixth so far here in qualifying. Lap number two for Noah Tarski is better at a 13.372, 13.372. Kaisemore goes better as well, a 14.501. So both those drivers fifth and sixth out of the six cars so far. From Felton, Minnesota, the TDS Trucking Landmark Company, Slingshot Ropes, STP number 64. Here's Andy Paik, Andy Paik in the 64. Also on the Speedway, out of Sussex, New Jersey, the Dave Frantic Auto Sales, Rapid Tire, Escape Power Sports Plus, Atlantic Battery Systems, number 28F. That's no panic, Davey Frantic. Andy Paik on lap one is sixth quick at a 13.545. Lap one for Davey Frantic, he's fourth quick at a 13.151. So fourth and seventh now for these two drivers. 
Lap number two for Paik is going to be better. He's up to six quick at a 13.307. And for Franick, he is slower on lap two. He'll take lap one at a 13.151. Parker Price, Miller, Spencer Basted, Mark Smith, Davey Franick, and Danny Sams, the top five so far. Trying to get things sorted out there in the infield. We will have to wait just a moment before these next two drivers go green. The 49X is out on the speedway next out of Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. The Rudzik excavating precision over overhead garage door. Centerline boring. Smith Titanium Y-Town powder coating. Number 49X, that's the Steel City Outlaw, Tim Schaefer. Tim Schaefer in 49X. And also on the speedway, one of our high rollers out of Minden, Nevada, the Smith Titanium Factory K in Maximum Race Oil, Messina Valley Transportation, Hall of Vodka, number 88 of Tanner Thorson. Tanner Thorson in the 88 and Tim Schaefer in 49X, your next two qualifiers here in Capital Custom Trailers qualifying. So we're having a little bit of issues in the infield trying to get drivers back to the staging spot to leave the speedway and get them from the scales to that position. And while drivers are pushing out at the same time, a little bit of a traffic jam over there as we go green on Tim Schaefer this time by. Tim Schaefer, two times an all-star winner here at East Bay back in 2002. Tanner Thorson, twice a ninth place finisher here with the all-stars back in 2022. Lap one for Tim Schaefer is going to be fourth quick at a 12.992, 12.992. Lap one for Tanner Thorson. He's second quick at a 12.844. 12.844. Thorson's got a problem, though. He's off the pace and into the infield. Tim Schaefer on lap number two is better at a 12.918. Still fourth quick at 12.918. Thorson pulled off at 12.844. Next on to the speedway. Out of Grass Valley, California, the Casey Kane race with Mike Kerb, Napa Auto Parts, Brumos Collection, Maxwell Race Holes, number 49. Here's the big cat, Brad Sweet. Also out there, the number 2C at a ton of local home of the select coatings, Outlaw Wings, Tyson Wheels, Robin Supply, number 2C of Wayne Johnson. Lap one for Brad Sweet to the top. 12, 658. 1, 2, 658 to the top for Brad Sweet. Wayne Johnson, 7, 13, 1, 2, 8. Lap two for Brad Sweet is going to be better at a 12, 5, 5, 0. 1, 2, 5, 5, 0 for Brad Sweet on lap number two. Wayne Johnson, he's better as well at a 13, 0, 4. He is six quick, 13, 0, 0, 4 for Wayne Johnson. From Knoxville, Iowa, the quality traffic control, Stivers for Lincoln, Goodno promotion, Schilling excavating number 22, here's Riley Goodno. Also on the speedway, out of Hanover, Pennsylvania, the SCC, fillpools.com, Polk Brothers Racing, Dynatech controls number 17, at Dylan Norris. Lap one for Riley Goodno is going to be eighth quick at a 13-144. Lap number one for Dylan Norris, the seventh quick at a 13-084. So Norris seventh, Goodno ninth. Lap number two for Riley Goodno he is going to be better. Now he's seventh, looking at a 13.049. Dylan Norris now jumps up to six at a 12.919. 12.919. Dylan Norris sixth and Riley Goodno in eighth. Coming out of the speedway for his qualifying effort out of Canton, Illinois. The NOS Energy Drink, Maxim Trucking, Logan Contractor Supply, Zip Bonds, TK Concrete, number 55. Here's the bear, Chris Windham. And from Bellevue, Ohio, the Indy Race Parts, Moon and Dagger Tattoo, EEG Golf Carts, Amali Motor Oil, Ohio Logistics, number 2MD, Cap Henry. Cap Henry in the 2MD. Lap number one for Chris Windham is going to be seventh quick at a 12 980 12-980. Wyndham, one of our full-time high rollers, Cap Henry, full-time in the midweek series. Lap one for Cap Henry is going to be 15th quick at a 13-391. Wyndham on lap two slows down, six with lap one at a 12-980. 
Cap Henry a little bit too wide there in turn number four. He will go slower on lap two. He's 15th quick at a 13 at 391. From Altoona, Iowa, the Country Builders Construction, Ochoco West, Muddy Outdoors, Tucker Trucking, Bosma Family Farms, number 88A, here's Austin McCarl. Austin McCarl in the 88, actually the 88X. And from Clovis, California, the Sander Engineering, Four Seas Construction, Autry Plumbing, Sincal, driven to save lives, number 14, it's Corey Day. Lap one for Austin McCarl is going to be fifth quick at a 12.915. Lap one for Corey Day is going to be third quick at a 12.800, 12.800. Lap two for Austin McCarl is going to be slower at a 12.953. He'll stick with lap number one and lap number two for Corey Day is second quick at a 12.738, 12.738. Second quick for Corey Day. On the track now, out of Monrovia, Indiana, the Avanti Windows and Doors, Big Spring Car Wash, Water Treatment by Design, CoastalRaceParts.com. Number 13, here's Justin Peck. And from Windsor, Colorado, the BG Automotive, Simpson, Al Parker, Engine, Schaefer's Oil, number 16G, it's Austin Gossel. Lap one for Justin Peck is going to be ninth quick at a 12.951, 1, Lap number one for Austin Gossel is 17th quick at a 13.370. Second lap for Peck is going to be better. Second quick at a 12.608.126.08 for Justin Peck. Lap two for Gossel. He goes better to 13 at 337. Still 17th quick for the 16G. From Grand Forks, North Dakota, the Native Nations Cannabis, Royal River Casino, Knife River, Home of Economy, Simplot, number 11M. Here's Brendan Mullen. And out of Clute, Texas, the Falcons Brothers Trucking, STC, p Holdings, American Table, Commercial Edge, number 87, it's Aaron Reitzel. Lap one for Brendan Mullen, 20th quick at a 13.526. Lap one for Aaron Reitzel. He jumps up to the 12th, 12th position at a 13 at 0.20. 12th quick for Reitzel, lap number two for Brendan Mullen is better. Actually, no, it's slower, 13.590, and for Reitzel. He jumps up to 10th quick at a 12.974, 12.974. Brendan Mullen and Steven Kaiser are the two drivers that would miss out on heat race competition right now. Next on to the Speedway, out of Elk Grove, California, the JVI Group, Finley Farms, Fulkins Brothers Trucking, Flow Racing, HendrickCars.com. Number 57, here's Young Money, Kyle Larson. And the 15, Ryan Turner to Dunville, Ontario, Canada, Nitro 54, Creative Edge, 87 speed. Howie Benz, junk removal, number 15, Ryan Turner. Lap one for Larson's 10th quick, and lap one for Turner, he's 23rd quick. Lap number two for Kyle Larson is going to be better. He's third quick at a 12.702, 12.702, third quick for Kyle Larson. Second lap for Ryan Turner, he slows down, 13.715. He's going to stay in that 23rd position. So Camp Henry, Brendan Mullen, Ryan Turner, Stephen Kaiser, the Four drivers not going to make a heat race right now. Reese Nowatarski is on the bubble at the moment. From Raymond, Washington, the Brian Grove Racing, Starrett Service, Canton Erectors, Premier Pallet, number 45. Here's Devin Borden. Devin Borden, the 45. And from Cherryville, North Carolina, the Mid-Nebraska Land Developers, M&R Manufacturing, Industrial Hard Carbon, number 23 is Lance Moss. Lance Moss of the 23. Borden on lap one is 22nd, a 13-4-4-6. On lap one for Lance Moss, he is 24th at a 13.649. Lap number two for Devin Bourne jumps into the invert at 18th quick at a 13.294. 13.294, 18th quick for Devin Borden. And for Lance Moss, he's better, nope, slower, 13.750, 24th quick still for Lance Moss. Two drivers left to take a time here in Capital Custom Trailers qualifying. The 16TH, this is Kevin Newton out of Terre Haute, Indiana, the Honest Dave Roofing Metal Supply Depot, number 16TH. And out there with him is the driver out of Hanover, Pennsylvania, the Pell's Tire Service, RF Knox Company, the Auto Barn, Weinbrenner Motor Service, Lawrence's Body Shop, number 1A. It's Jacob Allen. Jacob Allen in the 1A. Kevin Newton, 19th quick on lap number 1, 13303. Jacob Allen, 16th quick at a 13136. He puts Newton on the bubble. Newton will not get bumped as he is the final car to qualify. And he jumps up. Kevin Newton is eighth quick at a 12.890. 
Kevin Newton, eighth quick. What a great lap for him. And Jacob Allen jumps up to the ninth position, 12-9-0-6. But how about that lap for Kevin Newton? That is going to do it for Flight A qualifying for Capital Custom Trailers and Coaches qualifying. There he is, your fast time qualifier at a 12-5-5-0. The big cat, Brad Sweet. Justin Peck finishes up in second, Kyle Larson third, Corey Day fourth, Parker Price Miller in fifth, followed by Tanner Thorson, Spencer Baston, Kevin Newton, Jacob Allen, and Austin McCarl. So drivers will make their way back to the pit area. We'll take a quick break here on Flow Racing, come back with hot laps for Flight B. Welcome back to East Bay Raceway Park here at the Battle at the Bay for race number one of the High Limit Racing Sprint Car Series. We are getting ready for Flight B, hot laps and qualifying. We'll got a couple of announcements real quick we got to make. Uh, parked in a handicap spot is a white Ford van. License plate HLHP42 needs to be moved or it will be towed. Also, we have a red Toyota with Ontario plates CXWV967. You have left your lights on. Also, one more on that. We have a silver Chevy 2500 license plate BD01067. Michigan tags, you left your lights on as well. So with that, we'll look at some of the drivers. We'll be out in our first hot lap session for Flight B. There's a couple of them right there. We'll introduce you to one of our high rollers for 2024 at a Lubbock, Texas. That's the High Plains Building Division, Carbon Safety Technology, Lubbock Wrecker, Five Nights Truck Accessories, ShopTruckParts.com. Number one, that's Brenham Crouch. Brenham Crouch in car number one. And from Ankeny, Iowa, the c and Elevator Construction, Higher View Enterprises, Youngco Builders, Tom Davis Automotive, Moyle Race Engines, number 44. That's Chris Martin. Chris Martin in car number four. From Sanborn, Minnesota, the Trom Farms, Joel Pigeon Trucking, in Enogen, uh, Jeffers Implement, Wonder Check Ag, number 24T, that's Christopher Trom. Christopher Trom in the 24T. From Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Sitgard Engine Oil, Hample Oil, Mystic Lubricants, Western Flyer Express, Deathridge Optical, number 5T, that's Ryan Timms. Ryan Timms in the 5T. Also in this session, 
Out of Windsor, Colorado, the BG Automotive, Simpson, Al Parker Engine, Schaefer's Oil, number 6G of Brian Gossel. Brian Gossel in the 6G. Next to him is another one of our high rollers out of Myerstown, Pennsylvania, the M&M Painting and Construction, McGrewBid.com, Bats Paints, Baps Paints, Livewire Customs, number 19. That's Brent Marks. Brent Marks in car number 19. So we are missing a driver here in this hot lap session. It, it looks like the number 24 is not on the speedway. That is TJ Grieve, the driver out of Hartley, Delaware, the Crossley Enterprises, JC's Fabrication, First State Underground, Ron Coverdale, number 24X. Do not see TJ Grieve out there on the speedway. As hot lap session number two is going to be making a couple of these drivers not supposed to be out there for this hot lap session. They're going to make their way to the infield. It does appear that the number nine of Casey Kane is going to be out there in this session. Kane out of Enumclaw, Washington. That's the Casey Kane race with Mike Kerr, Brumos Collection, Factory Kane Shocks, Kane Screen Print number nine. Casey Kane was sixth here with the All-Star Circuit of Champions back at the turn of the century in 2000. Was eighth with the Outlaws here in 2021 at East Bay. So it looks like Chris Martin was actually not supposed to be out there in that session. He has pulled the Higher View Enterprises 44 car into the infield, and he will be out in the what looks to be the second session of drivers. Yes, he'll be in the second session. As we begin the fire engines for hot lap session number one here in Flight B for Dirt Draft Hot Laps, there's Ryan Timms in the 5T, one of the up-and-coming drivers when it comes to 410 sprint car racing was 6th and 15th with the All-Stars here in 2023. He has two USCS Brick Car wins already this season. Got a $10,000 to win race win at the Volusia Speedway Park and also another win at the Hendry County Speedway with USCS. There's Brenham Crouch. He's the defending IRA Sprint Car Series champion. Brenham Crouch, not the best luck when it comes to East Bay in the past. Two times he's D, uh, you know, DNQ with the All-Stars and the same with the King of 360s. He did make a show last week with the Outlaws at Volusia. was 25th in that feature as we go green on hot lap session number one for Flight B here in Dirt Trap Hot Laps. Checker flag comes out, and it is the 17-year-old driver, Ryan Timms, quickest overall at a 12-9-0-4. 1, 2, 9, 0, 4, quickest so far in hot lap session B. Brent Marks is second quickest, 13-1-27, with Brenham Crouch in third. Christopher Trom fourth, Casey Kane fifth, and Brian Gossel in the sixth position. Next set of cars, rolling track side, an interesting story with the first driver on the speedway at Fresno, California. The Mobile One, Toyota Racing Development, Roth Enterprises, HR Livestock, Transportation number 83. That's Dominic Selzy. Dominic Selzy in car number 83. James McFadden with traveling problems, visa issues, could not make it here from Australia. Dominic Selzy will run the first two nights here at East Bay Raceway Park as a super sub. Also on the speedway of Angola, Indiana, the Sun Dollar Restoration, Ford Performance, Sage Fruit, Race Redeem Foundation, Hager Realty, number 26 of Zeb Wise. Zeb Wise in car number 26. And there is that number 44 of Chris Martin. We introduced him in the first hot lap session, the Higher View Enterprises Young Co Builders 44 car. Driver out of Ankeny, Iowa. There is another one of our Canadian friends there. That is the driver out of Benbrook, Ontario, Canada, the Nitro 54 Creative Edge, Summertime Insulation, Smouts Garage, O'Neill's Farm Equipment, number nine, of Liam Martin. Liam Martin in car number 9L. 
In from Tempe, Arizona, the all-star performance, DRC Chassis, Z-Max, number 34, that's Sterling Kling. Sterling Kling in car number 34. Interesting story there with Sterling Kling, uh, the crew chief, Mikey Kemper, former crew chief for Craig Kinzer for a lot of years. Another driver on the speedway, the 10SR, 10 senior out of Jerome, Michigan. That's the Cole Ford, Coldwater Lake Marina, GLSS, Flint Truck Service, Hamilton Trucking, number 10SR of Keith Sheffer Jr. Keith Sheffer Jr. in the 10SR. And from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, the number one Cochrane Cars, Weikert's Livestock, RV four-wheel drive, Pace Performance, York excavating number 48, Double D, Danny Dietrich. Danny Dietrich in car number 48. So those are the drivers in this second hot lap session for Flight B here in Dirt Draft Hot Laps. There is the number 26 of Zeb Wise, the defending All-Star Circuit of Champions titleist. Wise in his career here at East Bay, a fourth in 2023. He had 11 wins in route to that uh, championship last season, a career year for Zeb Wise. There is Dominic Selzy filling in here this weekend for, or this week I should say, for James McFadden. It's his East Bay Raceway debut. He had 13 wins in 2023, three of them in a 4-10. He's the two-time King of the West Sprint Car Series champion. Checkered flag comes out. Nobody able to crack into the top two. Ryan Tim still fastest, but fastest in that group was Zeb Wise in car number 26 at a 13 4 0 1. That is quite a bit off the pace there of Tim's. That's four tenths off and three tenths off the second place car of Brent Marks. So track may be falling off here a little bit. Brenham Crouch fourth and Dominic Selzy in his first race tonight in the Roth Motorsports 83 is fifth quick. Christopher Trom 6, Casey Kane 7, Brian Gossel, Danny Dietrich, and Keith Shefford Jr. in 10th. Now, I know this isn't the first time that Dominic Selzy has raced that Roth Motorsports car, but first time in a while, that's for sure. Next group of cars rolling onto the track now for hot lap session number three here in flight B of Dirt Draft Hot Laps, led out by the driver out of Lemoore, California. That's the Honest Abe Roofing Metal Supply Depot, number 16T of Cole Macedo. Cole Macedo in the 16T. And from St. Helena, California, the Rico Abreu, Kerbaga Janian Racing, El Bandito, Yankee Tequila, Mesilla Valley Transportation, Arc Zone, Wiser Agency, number 24 of Rico Abreu. And from Sunnyvale, Texas, cigarport.ca, truenorth.bet, high performance lubricants, townline variety, number 15H of Sam Hafer Teep Jr. Another one of our high rollers is out there as well. Out of Bradenton, Florida, that's the Amali Motor Oil, Tub of Towels, TI-22, the Parts House, Triple X Chassis, number 28M, that's Connor Morell. Connor Morell in car number 28M. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, the Alpha Canvas Race Products, Advanced Powder Coating Solutions, KH Suspension Number 47, Eric Riggins Jr. Eric Riggins Jr. in car number 47. And next to him, out of Chillicothe, Ohio, the Olive Branch Gang, Ohio Valley Veneer, Ralph's Muffler Shop Number 4, that's Danny Smith. Danny Smith in car number 4. And from Apollo Beach, Florida, the ICS Bass, Minicus Performance Parts Number 9D, that's Steve Diamond Jr. Steve Diamond Jr. in car number 9D. Those are the drivers in hot lap session number three. For Flight B, there is Rico Abreu, one of the odds-on favorites to try and take down this championship in 2024. It's been a long time since Rico Abreu was here at the East Bay Raceway. He was seventh with the ASCS Series here in 2017. Has never ran a 410 here at East Bay. That's the first time he's been to East Bay was uh, the last time, I should say, was back in 2017, so it's been a long time for Rico here at East Bay. Finished second with the Outlaws twice at Volusia last week. There's Sam Hayford Teep Jr. He's got a lot of success here at East Bay. Twice a winner here in the King of 360 series back in 2022 and in 2023. 
got a win with the USCS Sprint Cars at Volusia in January as we go green. Checker comes out there on that session, and it's Sam Hayfertip Jr., the fastest in that group, third quickest overall, a 13-162 for the 15H. Ryan Tim still fastest over Brent Marks, then Hayfertip, then Zeb Wise, and then Brenham Crouch. Dominic Selzy, Christopher Trom, Rico Abreu, Casey Kane, and Cole Macedo, the top 10. One more group left to run here in Dirt Draft Hot Laps for Flight B, and these cars are led out by the number 39M out of Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, the JNS Classics Valley Supply, CD Rigging Class 1 Transportation entry of Anthony Macri. Anthony Macri in car number 39M. And from Bahalia, Mississippi, the Quality Roof Seamers Mach 1 Chassis, Simpson, Valco Wheels, John Howard Race Engines, number 47X of Dale Howard. Dale Howard in the 47X. Another one of our high rollers out of Isalia, California, the Commercial Edge, NDT, New Direction Transport, BL Holdings, Elliott's Custom Trailers, Ridge Development, number eight of Corey Eliason. Corey Eliason in car number eight. And from Indianapolis, Indiana, the NOS Energy Drink, Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts, number seven BC of Sunshine, Tyler Courtney. Tyler Courtney in car number seven BC. From East Grand Forks, Minnesota, the JW Repair, Phil Thompson and Associates, Gasper Air Spray, Proceed Ag Serve, number G5 of Gage Polkrebeck. And from Rothwell, West Yorkshire, United Kingdom, the Hambridge Transport, Benson's Products, AHT Logistics, KBTS Transport, number 97 UK, that's Ryan Harrison. Ryan Harrison in the 97 UK. Final car, four hot laps. The driver out of Marshall, Missouri, the engine connection, Sherbilt suspension, Jim's tire, Northern Tier Outdoors, A&K Designs, number 7B, that's Ben Brown. Ben Brown in car number 7B. There is Ryan Harrison. Is it across the pond? Do they say that for Australia or do they say that for New England? I'm not really, or New England or England? I think it's just England. New England is in is in the United States, if I'm not mistaken. Ryan Harrison, 14th here in 2022 with the King of 360 series, has yet to qualify for a 410 main event here at East Bay. As we go green, hot lap session number four, the final hot lap session of the night here at the Battle of the Bay with the High Limit Sprint Cars in East Bay Raceway Park. Checkered flag comes out, and the guy who swept the weekend here last year with the All-Star Circuit of Champions is fastest in that group. He is fourth quickest overall, 13-2-2-0 for Sunshine Tyler Courtney. Tony Laporta, what's going on down there? Chase, down here in the pit area, hot laps wrapping up, getting ready to go qualifying for Flight B, the 83 Roth Enterprises machine. James McFadden, obviously from Australia, but he's about as big of a mainstay in North America sprint car racing as you can have. Well, Dominic Selsey is filling in. You talked about it already. He is substituting here with Roth Enterprises as uh, James works through some travel bugs trying to get back over here uh, from the offseason back home. Dominic, uh, the guy's a great sub. He's filled in for this team in the 83 car back in 2020. 
The following season, he kind of continued his role as a super sub when he filled in for Mark Dobmeyer in the summer of 2021. Uh, but it should be noted that Dominic Selzy is not just a super sub. The guy had 13 wins on the West Coast back in 2023. Phenomenal race car driver and about the funniest guy you could find to sit and talk to in the pit area. In fact, I just leaned in, asked him, how'd the hot lap session go? How do you feel about qualifying? He said, well, I've already taken a mobile one bath. They had a little bit of a backfire out on track. Uh, and he says uh, he hopes it's a successful night, but he's ready to hit the showers just about as quick as he can. Dominic Selzy helping out the Roth Enterprises guys here this weekend in that number 83. Good stuff, TLP. We appreciate that as we are set to go green on qualifying for Capital Custom Trailers qualifying in flight B. First driver onto the speedway. He's out of Sanborn, Minnesota. That's the Trom Farms, Joel Pigeon Trucking, Inigen, Jeffers Implement, number 24 T up, Christopher Trom. He's also on the speedway with Ian Claw Washington's Casey Kane. The Casey Kane race with Mike Kerr, Brumos Collection, Factory Kane Shocks, number nine. First lap for Trom is going to be a 13 5 9 2 1 3 5 9 2. Lap number one for Casey Kane. He goes to the top 13 2 1 0. 1 3 2 1 0. Lap two for Trom. It looks like it's going to be better to 13, 4, 2, 5, 1, 3, 4, 2, 5. Lap two for Casey Kane. It's a good one into the 12s at a 12, 9, 4, 5. Not going to be tough to beat there. A 12, 9, 4, 5, Casey Kane, quickest so far. From Windsor, Colorado, the BG Automotive, Simpson, Al Parker Engine, Schaefer's Oil, number 6G, Brian Gossel. And it looks like we have a little bit of an issue here getting the number one of Brenham Crouch fired off. So gonna take a moment here to let these guys get around to the other side of the track. And the issue was actually Crouch was supposed to be pushed ahead of Gossel, so I had to get him in front and we'll go green this next time by Crouch, the driver out of Lubbock, Texas, the High Plains Building Division, Carbon Safety Technologies, Lubbock Wrecker, Five Nights Truck Accessories, ShopTruckParts.com, number one, the 18-year-old last year's IRA Sprint Car Series champion. He comes to the green this time by. Brenham Crouch, one win in that IRA championship season, came at the Wilmot Raceway. Meanwhile, Brian Gossel, his East Bay Raceway Park debut as Brenham Crouch comes across the line on lap number one, 13-135. And for Gossel, it's going to be fourth quick at a 13-983, 13-983. Brenham Crouch coming down the front stretch, lap number two is going to be a little bit slower to 13-289. Brian Gossel, lap number two is better, jumps up to third quick. Good lap there for Gossel, 13-401 for Brian Gossel. From Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Cigar Engineal, Hample Oil, Mystic, Mystic Lubricants, Western Flyer Express, Deathbridge Optical, number 5T, here's Ryan Timms. And also out there with him, out of Myerstown, Pennsylvania, the M&M Painting and Construction, thegroupbid.com, Bath Paints, Livewire Customs, number 19 of Brett Marks. Lap one for Timms, it's quick time, 12-755. One, two, seven, five, five. He's got two tenths on the rest of the field. Brett Marks jumps up to third quick at a 12, 9, 53. Lap number two for Ryan Timms is even better at a 12, 7, 36. One, two, seven, 3, 6. Brett Marks on lap number two slows down slightly at a 12, 9, 83. But how about it? Ryan Timms at a 12, 7, 3, 6. From Ankeny, Iowa, here's the CD Elevator Construction, Higher View Enterprises, Junco Builders, Tom Davis Automotive, number 44, it's Chris Martin. Chris Martin in car number 44, and he will go out by himself. Lap number one for Chris Martin is going to be fifth quick at a 13-384. Chris Martin last year, two 360 wins, one of them coming with the Sprint Invaders at the Spoon River Speedway in Illinois. Martin, the second time by the line, is going to be slower at a 13-419. First lap better, 13-384. From Angola, Indiana, here's the Sun Dollar Restoration, Ford Performance, Sage Fruit, Race Reading Foundation, Reading Management, number 26. It's 26-year-old Zeb Wise. And from Benbrook, Ontario, Canada, here's the Nitro 54, Creative Edge, Summertime Insulation, Smouts Garage, number 9L of Liam Martin. Liam Martin in the 9L. Lap one for Zeb Wise is quick time, 12, 694. 1, 2, 6, 9, 4, to the top for Zeb Wise. Liam Martin, he's ninth quick at a 13, 974. Lap number two for Zeb Wise is even better at a 12, 671. 1, 2, 6, 7, 1, Zeb Wise quickest. Liam Martin goes better on lap number two, but he's still ninth out of nine drivers so far. 
From Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, here's the number one Cochrane cars. Wikers Livestock, RV four-wheel drive, pace performance. York excavating number 48 of Double D, Danny Dietrich. And from Jerome, Michigan, the Cole Ford, Coldwater Lake Marina, GLSS, Flint Truck Service, number 10SR. It's Keith Shepard, Jr. Lap one for Danny Dietrich is a good one. It's third quick at a 12, a 787, 1, 2, 7, 8, 7. Lap one for Keith Shepard is going to be 10th quick at a 13, 734. Lap two for Dietrich is slower, 13, 0, 2, 2. He's third quick on lap number one. Lap number two for Keith Shepard Jr. is up to seventh quick, 13, 367. Good lap there for Shepard. From Fresno, California, the Mobile One, Toyota Racing Development, Roth Enterprises, HR Livestock, Transportation number 83, here is Dominic Selzy. And from Tempe, Arizona, this is the all-star performance DRC chassis, Z-Max, number 34 of Sterling Kling. Lap one for Selzy is going to be six quick at a 13 2 13002 Lap one for Sterling Kling is a 12th quick at a 13 542 Lap two for Dominic Selzy is slower, 13, 236. He'll stick with lap one, and he is sixth quickest overall. Here's the second lap for Sterling Kling, and it is going to be better. Jumps up to eighth quick at a 13, 318. Out of Chillicothe, Ohio, here's the Olive Branch Gang, Ohio Valley Veneer, Ralph's Muffler Shop, number four, Danny Smith. Also on the speedway from Sunnyvale, Texas, cigarport.ca, truenorth.bet, high performance lubricants, townline variety, number 15H of Sam Hafer Team Jr. Lap one for the legend, Danny Smith is 14th quick, 14.069. Lap one for Hafer Team is quick time, 12, 645. 1, 2, 6, 4, 5, to the top for Sam Hafer Team Jr. as Danny Smith pulls off. Lap two for Hafertip is slower, 12.852, but lap number one is the best we've seen so far in flight B of Capital Custom Trailers qualifying. Here we go, next driver onto the speedway, one of our high rollers out of St. Helena, California, the Rico Avery Curbaga Jane Racing, El Bandido, Yankee Tequila, Messiah Valley Transportation, Arc Zone, Wiser Agency, number 24, Rico Abreu. And from Apollo Beach, Florida, the ICS Bass, Manica's Performance Parts, number 9D, that's Steve Diamond Jr. Lap one for Rico is going to be eighth quick at a 13, 116, 13116. Lap one for Steve Diamond Jr., two times a winner here last year with the Top Gun Sprint Car Series, is going to be a 13996. Lap two for Rico, he jumps up to fourth quickest at a 12741. 12741 for Rico Abreu. Lap two for Diamond is going to be slower at a 14.183. He'll take lap one at a 13.996. From Lamore, California, this is the Honest Abe Roofing Metal Supply Depot, number 16T of Colmacito. We've got caution as Steve Diamond Jr. does not make it into the infield. So Colmacito out there, the Honest Abe Roofing Metal Supply Depot, 16T. And we've also got... One of our high rollers out there out of Bradenton, Florida, the Molly Motor Oil, Tub of Towels, TI-22, the Parts House, Triple X Chassis, number 28M of Connor Morell. Connor Morell in the 28M. Cole Macedo last year was a winner on the opening night of the King of 360s in 2023 here at East Bay Raceway Park. When it came to the 410, not as much success, 22nd with the All-Stars here in 2023. Connor Morrell, he was 15th here with the All-Stars in 2022. Last year, ended up fifth in the All-Star point standings. Lap one for Cole Macedo is going to be a good one. That's second quick for Cole Macedo, 12-6-48. Lap one for Connor Morrell is going to be a good one as well. He's going to be up to the 11th position for the 28M. And lap number two for Cole Macedo is a 12.802, but how about that first lap? Cole Macedo, second quick now at a 12.648. From East Grand Forge, Minnesota, here's the JW Repair, Phil Thompson and Associates, Gasper Air Spray, Proceed, Axer, number G5, Gage, Pull Quebec. And out of Charlotte, North Carolina, the Alpha Kansas and Canvas Race Products, excuse me, Advanced Powder Coating Solutions, KH Suspension, number 47, that's Eric Riggins, Jr. 
Lap one for Polkerbeck is going to be a 14-0-2-1. Lap one for the 47 of Riggins is going to be 10th quick at a 13.054. And lap number two for Polkerbeck is going to be 19th quick. Lap two for Riggins is going to be a 13.082. He was better on lap number one, 10th quick. So Danny Smith, the one driver outside of the top 20 right now, he would be in the non-qualifier. Steve Diamond Jr. on the bubble. Out of Marshall, Missouri, here's the engine connection, Sherbell suspension, Jim's tire, Northern Tier Outdoors, a &K Designs, number 7B, it's Ben Brown. And also on the Speedway, out of Visalia, California, the Commercial Edge, NDT, New Direction Transport, p &L Holdings, and Lance Custom Trailers, Ridge Development, number 8 of Corey Eliasson. Lap 1 for Ben Brown is 14, 13, 358. And lap 1 for Corey Eliasson is going to be 13th, but at a 13, 158, 13158. Ben Brown now 14th quick at a 13-167, improves on lap number two. And for Eliason, he jumps up to ninth quick at a 12-964, 12-964. Five cars left to qualify here in Capital Custom Trailers qualifying flight B. Out of Bahalia, Mississippi, the quality roof seamers, Mach 1 chassis, Simpson, Valco wheels number 47X, this is Dale Howard. And also on the speedway, out of Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, the JNS Classics Valley Supply, CD Rigging, Class 1 Transportation, number 39 Emmett's Anthony Macri. Lap 1 for Dale Howard is right on the bubble, 13-610. And for Anthony Macri, he's going to be 7th quick at a 12-935. Lap 2 for Dale Howard is going to be up into the 16th position, 13-317. That puts Brian Gossel on the bubble for a heat race spot. And Anthony Macri to the top! 12, 6, 1, 2. Anthony Macri, 1, 2, 6, 1, 2, late in the going. He is quickest. Out of Indianapolis, Indiana, this is the NOS Energy Rink, Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts, number 7 BC of Sunshine, Tyler Courtney. And from Rothwell, West Yorkshire, United Kingdom, the Hammers Transport, Benson's Products, AHG Logistics, Logistics KBS, KBTS Transport, number 97 UK, Ryan Harrison. Lap one for Sunshine's eighth quick at a 12-910, 12-910. Harrison goes 22nd quick at a 13-416. Lap two for Sunshine is going to be better, still eighth quick though at a 12-815. And for Harrison, good enough to get into the top 20. 17th quick for Ryan Harrison, 13-270. And that should leave us with one car, actually it's not because TJ Grieve is not going to make the call. And with that, how about it, ladies and gentlemen? Late in the qualifying session, Anthony Macri is your fastest in Capital Custom trailer, Trailers qualifying at Flight B in car number 39M. The lap time was a 12-6-1-2. Sam Amber, Chief Jr., second. Cole Macedo in third. Zeb Wise, fourth. Ryan Timms, fifth. Then Rico Abreu, Danny Dietrich, Tyler Courtney, Casey Kane, and Brett Marks. Good stuff there in both sessions of qualifying. And with that, we're going to take a quick break here on Flow Racing. We'll come back here with opening ceremonies from the East Bay Raceway Park here on night number one of the Battle at the Bay with the High Limit Racing Series. We'll be back. comes to Magneto Ignition Performance, there's only one name that you can trust, and that's BR Motorsports Ignitioneering. Servicing the racing industry for over 30 years, our state-of-the-art Magneto Dyno 